Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Article 8 reveal a shocking revelation of what is going on around him now. He says, if anything happens to me, these are the people you should hold responsible. You know, he said, if anything happens to him, they should hold these people in Asurok responsible. You know, and these people are key people that uh, because he's speaking out, they don't want anybody who will oppose them. And because his voice is very loud, they are coming after him. And should anything happen to him, this should be the way forward and the way to go. They should be held responsible. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Legal practitioner Daniel Bawale, one of the spokesmen of the People Democratic Party, PDP, in 2023 election for Alaji Atiku Abubakar, has raised an alarm over a plot to arrest him. Yes, the Tinubu's government is planning to arrest me. That Bawe Bawale alleged in his post on Monday, Twitter handle on Monday alleged that some key people in Asurok, a part of the ruling of Progressive Congress, are planning to take him into custody over false accusation, just like they are planning for Peter Obi. According to him, the prominent people in the All Progressive Congress have accused him of making the current government uncomfortable, especially with his statement and continuous harassment. Bali reiterated that the that he dumped the ruling party for the opposition People Democratic Party because of the same faith ticket which might come from his which might which may make them come for his persecution. The People Democratic Party chieftain added that if anything happens to him, the world should know that the evil plan of APC is what has happened. He wrote last night I got a credible intelligence that some key people around the seat of power presidential Asso Villa of this government are planning to use security agencies to arrest me and take me into custody to tip up allegations against me in order to rubbish me and silence me that I am making against them and the government and I'm making them uncomfortable. Let the world know today that I have always known that from my stand on the same fate ticket, which led to my leaving APC, and consequently, pos my posture for a political position, it may be deep state and come from my own, my own belief for what I believe in and stand for. If anything happens to me, let it be known that they have evil plans against me. And it is from the All Progressive Congress from Tinobu's government. So this is what is happening now. Danny is telling us all that there are plans against him and that they've have arranged, you know, they've arranged, you know, accusation against him in order to keep him down, in order to keep him silent, in order to, you know, to to keep his mouth short. He said, but everybody should be aware that these things are happening and that um, they are coming for him. This is an article's aid. Um, he was in the All Progressive Congress, and after all is said and done with what happened, you know, he's currently facing a lot right now. He said there is persecution already on him for the fact that he joined the, the People Democratic Party, the opposition, and why he left the APC was because of the same faith ticket, but now they are coming after him, and they are ready to do everything and anything. The Tunubu's government, there are people already in office that have already, you know, concluded plans to bring false accusation against him to hold him down he said but everybody should be aware nobody should you know should think that whatever is being said about him after now is true that these people are looking for ways to get him and to hold him down and everybody needs to know that he's been accused because he did not support them and they are feeling uncomfortable because of what he's revealing. It says because of what he's going to say, they are feeling very uncomfortable and the best thing to do is to arrest him and to make sure that he's silenced, okay? Because it's going to make them feel uncomfortable. It's going to say things that we question, you know, Nigerians uh, believing or accepting the Tinubu's government. So this is what is happening now and every single person can see. So he's raising the concerns and alarm already that everybody should know 
and everybody should know that you know there's plot against him there is call for him to be arrested so that he can be silenced well my people what do you think this is a government that is called or termed a democratic government but is it really a democratic government is there really democracy going on is there anything called democracy in all of this? Let's be honest and sincere. Well, we would like to hear what you think and we'd like to know what you what you, what you you think is going to come out of all this. The, we pray that he, he, you know, they do not go and arrest him because that's what they do. You know, they we're not saying, you know, he's a saint, but in order to shut him and to keep him down, they will just go there, arrest him and keep him, you know, and tell you he has done this, he has done that, and accusation will begin to flow. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Every single person needs to understand it, you know, that this is what is going on right now. You know, so Daniel Barale has raised an alarm saying enough is enough. We'll not allow this to continue. We'll not allow this to go on. You know, we have we have already, you know, we've already made up our mind and this is the way forward. We'll not let this slide. We're going to stand for it. We're going to stand for what we believe. Well, my lovely, wonderful people, you can see that um, things are becoming really, really, really of great concern. And every single person needs to know that, you know, we cannot uh, continue to allow this to go on. If there's anything we need to do, this is the time to rise up. This is the time to ensure that we do not allow the same thing over and over again. Nigerians, like they will say, you know, if we don't uh, stand for anything, we leave ourselves to chance. So these are part of the things that are going on. And we need to ensure that uh, we, you know, we do what is right, what is needed, so that Nigeria can become the nation we've been praying for. You know, there's urgent need for every single person to, you know, to rise up and do not allow, you know, people who are selfish and all they want is what they could possibly get to continue. So it is what it is. If there is any need where Nigerians need to, you know, stand up and ensure that the right thing is done, this is that time. This is that time. Not tomorrow now. Not tomorrow now. So please leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. So we all must stay together and ensure that none of these things keep us down. We must speak up as one and we must ensure that those things that, you know, have been there for some time now, you know, are removed. And then we stand for what is right. You know, the nation really, we really need everything we possibly can get to channel this nation in the right way and bring us into where we need to be. Okay, so every single person needs to rise up. Every single person, we need to understand what is going on and ensure that this nation is really, really, you know, headed for the right direction. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.